Yeah, it has a coriander. Got to remember the coriander. Yeah, it has a spice. I like the spice and aroma. Okay. What? Are you ready? Brian, are you ready? Okay. If you guys remember, oh yeah, we're we're getting new seats next uh, week. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> if you guys remember, for tangents, one thing we looked at tangents, tangent of an angle, was uh, y over x, right? And if you guys remember, we looked at the unit circle, do 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 do, and we said that the y over the x, the x coordinate was negative at here and here, which that angle, bless you, was pi halves, and this one was. 3 pi halves, right? And so what we figured out was you could do that in the positive or negative direction. But what this graph looked like was you had asymptotes at pi halves, negative pi halves. And the graph looks something like this. And then what happened is it, uh, it repeated, right? Do, 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 do. Um, sorry, negative 3 pi. Okay, so the rep graph repeated. And the basically the main important thing really, you don't need to like have that memorized because you guys will have a graphing calculator, right? But the main important thing I wanted you guys to understand from that lecture was that tangent was undefined at pi halves and at three pi halves, or negative pi halves and negative three pi halves, which I've kind of graphed right here. So you can see where the asymptotes are. The other important thing I wanted you to take away from that is again, the period is pi, not two pi like we've previously done. So the period is shorter. It takes shorter time for it to repeat itself. So in this question, it's saying describe the graph of the function in terms of the basic trigonometric function and locate the vertical asymptotes. So three, we don't have an amplitude for this. So if you remember, your notes were ri written right down here. We had that three. Do you guys remember what a three does to a graph? It stretches, compresses. Does anybody remember? Vertically, horizontally. It's in your notes. I'd make sure that you kind of remember it. It's vertically stretch factor of three. So you're vertically stretching a factor of three. All right. There is no effect on the amplitude because there is no amplitude because there's no max or min. So there's no amplitude. So it's just a vertical stretch. We also know there's a horizontal compression here, right? But it, and we don't really talk so much as um, we could talk about the horizontal compression, or but in reality, I'm sorry, not horizontal compression, horizontal stretch because it's less than one. But really, what we could also do is talk about the period. So the period is going to be pi divided by b. Now remember, Juno remembers this from now because he's never going to forget. What would be your b in this case, Juno? One half, right? x over 2 is the same thing as 1 half x. So pi divided by 1 half is the same thing as 2 pi. OK. So here kind of comes into some understanding here. If you guys look at, right now, I'm at pi, right? If I want my period to be 2 pi, then if here's my asymptotes, I, I, how far would I need to move my asymptotes out for my period to be pi? Oh, I'm sorry, 2 pi. Right now it's at pi. I just need, I, if I need to make it to 2 pi, how far would I need to increase these asymptotes? Well, if I moved it pi over to the right, um, but I'm thinking like equal distance. Like, how far would I need to move to the right and to the left? Pi halves. Right? If, I get, if I did a half here and a half there, would you guys agree with me that here, this distance is 2 pi? Right? If you go a half pi there and a half pi there, that's an extra pi. And you already have this pi. So what are those points? Those points are when tangent was equal to 0. Or what's between pi halves and 3 pi halves? Pi. So the question was asking is, where is the asymptotes? You could say x is equal at pi, and then remember, you have infinite many asymptotes, negative and positive direction. So we'd say x equals pi n is your asymptotes. Okay. Yes, you'll be allowed to use your graph calculator, but I really think understanding the tangent and cotangent with the unit circle is going to be helpful with you guys. Tangent is probably the most difficult of that, but you guys do have six problems to practice finding the asymptotes. 
you 